I am from Ukraine, from the wonderful city of Kharkov, which is on the very east of Ukraine. I'm coming from musical family. My mom was actually a student, one of the first students of my father, and they're happily married now for 20 years. No, more, 25, because I'm 24. Yeah, and my brother is also viola, violist now. He is a bit younger than me, he is 19. My like, first memories, they connected with music already. I remember how my father played for me, how one of my first toys were like, or games were to playing with a bow while my father was practicing. It was nothing but natural thing. I would be surprised if I would become something else but not musician. I think I got my first violin as a present for my birthday. I think it was fifth birthday or fourth. My first teacher was, of course, my father and my mom a bit. As a, any child, I had some problems with motivation. In general, I was very interested in sport. At sometimes it were a cause of conflicts with my parents and teachers that I didn't practice enough. When you have something as a profession like music and you are a kid or teenager, you don't really think how valuable is this to have once if there is someone to teach you the lesson and to take it away from you for moments, you understand the value and then you kind of don't doubt anymore. We are learning all our life. It's, uh, you, you see things from different perspective all the time, even through the years. You played something three years ago, now you see a totally different perspective because you gain some life experience. And so this is my goal, just to discover music, because it's so many things, so many music, first of all, and so many ways to play it. So for me, the success is to become, I would say, the closest possible way to the musician I imagine myself to be. Yasha Haifit described this in one sentence, like, practice as you are the worst and play as you are the best. That's what I'm kind of trying to do to find my, so to say, personality. I was invited to participate in some projects, like Mit Musik Mit Einander, or Violin Master Classes. So uh, then I learned about this place, and I was amazed, and I st I'm still amazed. It's like a Hogwarts. I have this association because it's kind of apart from the real life, and it's so dedicated to the purpose of all this music. I was lucky enough to be accepted and feel very, very honored to be among the best musicians of my generation. Recently I played uh, one of my favorite works, uh, Frank Piano Quintet, and uh, I, ha I also broke my string in the end of, not, not quite in the end of first movement, so I had to play for another two minutes, I guess, without E string, and it was quite challenging, but I somehow managed. Sometimes some ridiculous things happen on stage, also very tricky and funny. You try to hold yourself to not laugh loud, but yeah, well, I, I, so far I managed, but it was on the edge. <laughs> Last couple of years, the chess is my main hobby. This is three subjects in one. It's a sport, of course, because it's competitive. It's an art because if you see some great games with a lot of tactic and uh, impressive wins, it's something that amazed you. And it's a science because it has a lot of theory and you have to know a lot of stuff. Uh, it's, it's actually miraculous because it's only 54, 64 squares and it's so much information. With the amount of possible combinations in chess, it's more than amount of stars in the universe. It's just honest, because in the music, if something is not honest or authentic, is when it's not something that person, the composer, really needed to say, it sounds like a lie and it doesn't affect you. So it's music. in music, it's impossible to lie. It's like a different language. It's sometimes words are not enough to express something, and there is a music for that. Friedrich Nietzsche said uh, that without music, this world would be a mistake, so I kind of agree totally with that. I, I don't imagine, even theoretically, what it would be without music.